Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is William. In this video episode, we are going to look at how we can implement multi-authentication using Breeze Livewire inside Laravel 11. Laravel 11 has just been released uh, recently. And as you can see, the look and feel is very good. But I want us to go ahead and see how we can be able to use Breeze in this um, application and also be able to implement multi-authentication. So what I want us to do first is to install a Breeze uh, package. So in this case, we will do PHP uh, artisan, I mean, composer require, composer require Laravel forward slash Breeze. And this command will install for us Breeze, but of course, including every other dependency after installing Breeze, then we are going to run the command php artisan breeze install. Let me just resize a bit. And I want us to choose the stack as um, livewire hyphen functional. Dark mode, yes. PHP test, we can use paste or PHP unit. I will not be doing testing in this video. And this, of, of course, we install livewire and volt on top of the Breeze that we have already installed. Our Breeze Livewire application is fully installed. And if we are to just check here, we have now authentication. If we are to refresh, we have login and register. I want us to go ahead and do a modification in um, the SQL uh, database that we have here. So in the migrations, the first migration is the migration that has everything. In Laravel 11, you can see we have all the migration regarding the user in one place. And so what I want to do is to add one more row, which I'm going to call sortable integer. I'm going to call it role. And in this case, I want it to have a default value. And the default value is three. So we are going to have several roles. We will have a role with um, a role one, it will be super admin, and then a role two will be admin, and then a role of three will be normal user, like that. So basically that is what we are going to have. And so I would like to do my migration again since the migration was done with the installation of Laravel. So in this case, I'm going to do PHP artisan migrate fresh. And it will run our migrations again. Now, I want us to go ahead and register a new user. Just one user whom we will use for the testing of our application. And so, the name is uh, William. And uh, the email is william at example.com. Then, password. And after doing that, we are logged in. I now want us to go ahead and make provisions for multi-authentication for the three dashboards that we require. And so inside our terminal, I would like to create views. So in this case, we can have PHP artisan make view. The first view, I want to call it admin. And then I want to have another view, which I'm going to call super admin. And then I will scroll to where those views are inside resources views. And then uh, go to dashboard.blade and copy whatever it is that we have here. That is what we are going to use in the new, newly created dashboard. So in this case, we can paste this here. And then because this is the admin dashboard, we can call it admin like that and save. And then we will also paste the same in the super admin dashboard. So again, we will paste that. And then above here, we will call it super admin dashboard. After that, we need to also have the routes that um, will be able to lead us to these uh, dashboards. So I will open route web.php and I would just like to copy whatever it is that we have here. And then we are going to paste it down here twice. So one for the super admin and the other one for the admin. And so this one, I'm going to call it admin and we have admin because the view and even the route I want it to be admin. After that, I also want us to have this one as super admin. 
and uh, this one as a super admin and also the name super admin of course if we are to log in now we will be actually directed to whichever dashboard that we have and since all of them you have to have the authenticated user but in this case one can be able to move from super admin to admin by just changing the url and that is not what we want we want to be a little bit controlled in whatever it is that we are doing so in this case i would want us to create uh, middlewares so we are going to create uh, several middlewares actually three of them php artisan make middleware and the first middleware i want us to create is called super admin i also want us to create another middleware that we will call admin lastly i want us to create a middleware that i'm going to call normal in this case to stand for a normal user after that i would like to go to the super admin middleware so you go to app http middleware and i want us to begin with super admin and here what i want to do is to uh, have an if function here and since we will be accessing the authenticated user we can say use eliminate support for sats out so use eliminate support for sats out like that and inside here we can be able now to get access to our user the first thing that i want us to do is to check whether the user is authenticated so we can just check if our user is not authenticated if auth we can just say auth check instead and then if that is the case if the user is not authenticated we can uh, return redirect and we are going to redirect to route so return redirect route login but if that is not the case and the user is authenticated then we can be able to get the user role so we can say user role is equals to auth auth user um, role now we can have if uh, user role is uh, equals to one so if the user role is equals to one and this is um, the super admin class or in this case the super admin middleware then we can be able to pass in the next request and allow the this user to access the resource so i'm going to just cut whatever it is that you have there and paste here and then we can be able to check for the other options so if the user role is uh, equals to two then this one is an admin and this one we are going to redirect them to a route so let me just copy what we have here we will copy and we are going to redirect them to the admin route so here i'm just going to say admin now we copy one more time and then uh, paste here and then we will check if the user role is three and we are going to redirect to dashboard that is now the normal dashboard that we have in um, our uh, class in, in in our breeze application basically so basically that is how the this middleware will look and i would want to have the same uh, thing copied to the other middleware so i want us to go to admin middleware and i want us to paste replace everything that we have here and so here i'm going to change this to two so if the role is two you pass in the next request if not you go to super admin so in this case if the role is uh, one like that and then every other thing is okay then you go to the last one which is for the normal user and here we can also replace the same and then now for the next request it has to be user number of user role three and uh, then this one here i will change to one and for this one we are going to go to super admin route like that so basically that is how our middleware will look of course above here we will have to import the auth facade so use illuminate um support facades 
and then out that way and also i think there is also one more place inside the admin one we have not been able to do that so even here i want to pass it in i now want us to go to in a laravel 10 we used to have a file that was called kennel inside the http folder but now it is not there so in laravel 11 we go to a folder that is called config and we go to a file that is called app this is a place where we can be able to declare our middlewares and so what i'm going to do is to then uh, import our middlewares to this place so in this case above here we can say use app http middleware and then we have super admin like that and then i want us to just copy this one severally the next middleware that we have is called admin and then the next middleware that we have is called normal and then i want us to use the middleware areas here with aliases so we are going to see if we want to use them with aliases we will pass them inside this closure where we have the middleware so here we have middleware and then we can say uh, alias and then we can have the brackets and square brackets and you close here and then we can have all the middlewares that have aliases so these ones i want us one of them to be called super admin and this one we can say super admin class the next middleware is called admin and this one we are going to access it with admin class and lastly we have another middleware this one i think it should be let me change it to small a then this one should be normal and i want to have it as a um, normal uh, class like that so basically we've been able to create our middlewares and now i want us to use them in our routes so we will go back to our routing file in web.php and here on top of the middlewares that we have so for, for dashboard we want the dashboard to be accessed only by the normal user so we add here the normal middleware and then for the admin we will also among the middleware groups we will add admin and then for this one for super admin we also have a middleware that is called super admin so basically that is that we just have one more thing to do and then we will be set so i want us to go back to resources and then inside here i want us to go to a folder called livewire and inside livewire i want us to go to pages inside here we have the login.blade so i want us to differentiate the users when they log in when a user pre registers themselves in the system they will be considered a normal user but then these um, privileges can be elevated and once the value is changed from three maybe to two to or to one for the role then they can be able to have access to the other dashboards so let me just um, uh, show you where we are going to do something so as you can see when the user logs in, in inside this login function or method we are authenticating and then we are regenerating the session and then we are redirecting so here where we are re redirecting is where i want us to do um, redirection to several places not just to this one place so the first thing that i want us to do is to get the user role and the user role is given by auth user and then uh, role uh, that way after that i would like to use a switch statement to enable us to be able to redirect each and every person to wherever it is they are supposed to go and so i'm going to have switch i do not want yes i do not want uh, it to generate for me all those things at once so user role so we are passing in the user role here now we are having the several roles so the first role that we have is a uh, one so if we have a role of one then i want us to do a redirection and i'm just going to use whatever it is that we have here so i will just cut and uh, paste here and then we will have break 
like that. But now this one we are redirecting to super if the role is one, and then if the role is two, we are redirecting to admin. And then lastly, um, if, uh, so again, we can break. And then lastly, if the role is a uh, three, we can redirect this one to dashboard if the role is three. So after that, I would like us to again break. And then lastly, whatever I typed, break. Lastly, we can have default. And for the default, we can just say return redirect. And we can uh, just send them anywhere, maybe to the login page, or we can just send them uh, away completely from, take them to the home page of our application. So basically, this one should uh, look like that. Let me just extend such that we are able to see everything that we have here. And so basically, that is what we have. I want us to go ahead and uh, attempt, because already we are logged in with a user who is called William and their role is number three. I want to change the role of uh, this user. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a uh, tinker to change the role. So in this case, we can say PHP, sorry, down here, PHP artisan tinker. And here we can say user is uh, given by app models user find we only have one user in our database and that user of course we have an id of one so we can find that user and we have them and i want us to just change the role so we can say user role is equals to one and save and now it is saved and then we can say user uh, save like that and close with a semicolon and the user is saved because it has returned true. I just want us to refresh and see what happens. And now you can see our user has been changed to a super admin. I still want to try it one more time and change the user role again. So we can say user uh, role is a two. And then we can say user uh, save again. The user has been saved. So if we are to refresh one more time, now you can see that our user is an admin. And if we are to log out this user and attempt to log them in again, they will log in as an admin. So let me just attempt to do that. So I will put uh, William at example.com and then the password. If I attempt to log in the user, let us see what kind of dashboard you are going to be sent to and we are sent to the correct dashboard which is the admin dashboard thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and you can also comment in the comment section if you have an issue a query a question or maybe a contribution that can be able to make uh, this project better thank you very very much